next image um, is again from file down to place and then grab this one here cover six click on open click OK and then click and drag and drop this in here um, I am going to just link them together to start off with also fit and just make sure that the height in there is set to uh, 50 millimeters and then move this up now this is going to go in front of the round rectangle that we made a few minutes ago so if I just zoom in here um, I'm going to go to my layers panel and open up images now the image I have selected in here it's not easy to spot but if I go to where it reads images and double left click change the color in here so we can see it's a bit clearer so if I choose something like uh, let's go for brown click OK now what you can see is um, this represents cover six which is the image I've just brought in this thing here if I click on it tells me that that icon there is rectangle so if I click back on the photograph if I click on cover six I can drag that down underneath rectangle so we still keep the white line around the outside of that one so that's all good um, I then need to click and hold down the mouse and just pull this down so it kind of sits level I then need to take my cursor up to the top of this box in and out for this one I do need to pull this image down in here because I need to switch to my direct selection tool and drag across that top corner just to grab that anchor point using the cursor keys to shift and left tap and just pull that top corner in so it's just using the cursor keys because I've got the direct selection tool active and I've pulled that handle in there just want to kind of match if I can the angle of this white strip running down here that's good I can switch to my selection tool move this box up to about here in actual fact I could select this box I could choose edit and choose copy edit paste in place I could then extend that out now just bear with me here hover over click on the disk delete the image from this frame which leaves it empty make sure it's selected and then set the color to take a break blue which obviously hides everything but again if I go to my layers panel expand that open drag that underneath um, and then keep going down there we go so I get a blue in the background in there we get the angle matching in there because I copied the original photograph deleted the image out of the copy and then just put a blue background in there so again it's extremely busy but that's that's how we extend the bit of blue out there that's required to put some text in that region.